So, a certain somebody, we're not going to name any names, but they did not do math correctly. Hey guys, welcome back to Twins Try. I'm Christy. I'm Wayne. And today we are going to be making cheesecake. Let's get started. Everything that we need is out here on the table. First, we're going to go ahead and mix in all of those ingredients. It's cookie, sugar, and butter, along with our pumpkin spice blend. So the texture of this is going to be a little sandy and then we will crush this into the bottom of the liners that we have and stick it in the oven that we preheated for 350 degrees and we'll pre-bake it for 5 minutes. Now that they're, they're a little bit more crushed up and sandy and mix well with the butter we're gonna go ahead and start patting these down into the liners and pop them in the oven. Cool, so now we are going to crush them down. So, a certain somebody, we're not gonna name any names, but they did not do math correctly because 16 divided by three apparently is 12. 12. <laughs> so, well, I didn't think about changing the liners. I was like, whatever, the recipe called for 16. I'll just put 12 out here. Yeah, so we minimize it to nine. So they're gonna be very thick crust bites with very thin layers of cheesecake. No, thin, thin crust because they look this thin oh. thin. Oh, earlier they were paper thin. Yeah. Either way, we're just not good at math. Not we, it's you. <laughs> well, I thirded the rest of the recipe fine. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and pop these into the oven. Again, it's 350. We're pre-baking it for five minutes. And we'll see you in five minutes. It's time to work on the filling. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and open this up. This is our cream cheese. And then we're going to cream it on high speed for about a minute. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the cream cheese. It's interesting packaging that I have. We'll go ahead and start creaming this, and then you start adding the other ingredients. Yeah, then you add these two, and then everything else goes on. You're gonna crack the eggs. You know You're gonna have to crack the eggs. Our bowl is way too small, and it was getting all over me. So we're transferring to a bigger bowl. We also heard that we really love to do dishes. So this is really just a way to ensure that we get more dishes to do. Okay, so next we pour in pumpkin. Yeah, and the two eggs. Okay. I think the one thing about me is we're not that into pumpkin, but we had a can of pumpkin for whatever reason that we wanted to use up. So this is us trying to clean our pantry. We're doing it on the edge of the surface. No shell. So it's pretty good now, I think, for the most part. Which means we can add our spices. Okay. Now we're going to go 
ahead and add the mixture into every single one. We're going to go ahead and pop this right back into the oven for 18 to 20 minutes. We've gone ahead and taken them out of the fridge. They've set for two hours now. We are ready to top them with garnishes. We have melted chocolate here and walnuts that we've toasted from this morning. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're now ready for the taste test. Everything has now been covered in all of the garnishes. We left two without the walnuts because I don't know if ev everybody wants that. So we're gonna go ahead and taste test this one we have in front of us and we'll let you know how it tastes. Ready? Mm -hmm. Cheers. I think I like that we kind of accidentally left the cookie crumbles to not be like crumbled all the way. But there is a little bit of bite, kind of like a different texture because this whole thing is kind of mushy. So when you get to the bottom and there's like something that you can actually bite on, it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. And I think that we didn't sweeten it as much as the recipe calls for, so it's a nice amount of sweet. Yeah, the sugar helps to add that extra sweetness and it takes it to the just perfect level. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a really good snack, these bite-sized cheesecakes are perfect. You could eat a couple of them and not feel too guilty. Mm -hmm. And usually I'm not the biggest fan of pumpkin flavored things, yeah. but I think this is a good balance. It's not overpoweringly pumpkin. It's just a nice hint of spices like the cinnamon and mm -hmm. pumpkin. So it's a nice spice level, but not too pumpkin-y where it's overwhelming. Yeah, so this was a success for us and they turned out beautiful too. Mm -hmm. I did not expect that. I thought we were gonna have a dumpster fire or some sort where they wouldn't turn out like the picture, but they actually did. Yeah. I think we did a great job. My chocolate drawing skills could be improved on, but aside from that, I think the rest of the recipe turned out really great. Mm -hmm. I would say this was a success and we highly recommend this recipe. Again, all of that will be in the description below. I didn't call it a down bar this time. Yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get to see our next videos. And as always, let us know what you try next on Twins Try. Bye. Bye. Thank you.